Mo's Garage. Good afternoon everyone and welcome back to Jimbo's Garage. Well, as you can see, it's another beautiful day here in Southern California. The other day, I uh, was at one of my job sites and I noticed in the trash in the house next door to where I was working, there was this old rusty metal bench broken up and it was out, out in the trash and I walked by it about two or three times before I decided, you know what, I'm gonna throw this thing in the back of my truck, bring it over here to the shop and maybe one day, I will restore it or rebuild it and uh, make it into a nice new bench again. Well, today's the day. So, let's get started. All right, so I got started here by uh, starting to disassemble everything and uh, you know, nothing like trying to get the proper tools to do the job. I just reached my toolbox and got what I thought I needed, put everything in the trusty DeWalt impact driver and uh, began to start taking things apart. Now for the most part, uh, it came apart fairly easily. Uh, there were a couple of uh, nuts that were stubborn there and uh, wouldn't come off, but uh, that's not a problem. You know, I just continued to just go ahead and take what I could off and uh, you know, taking the bracketry off. Uh, these are screws that were held on. Well, I'm surprised everything, as rusted as everything was, it uh, seemed to come apart pretty good. And for those, uh, those rusty uh, old nuts that uh, wouldn't come off that was uh, no challenge to my uh, uh, cutoff wheel I just got in there and cut those things off and then uh, you know we're able to take a chisel to some of them and uh, you know bust off the uh, what was left and then it all came apart uh, fairly easily and once everything was all apart I just cleaned up the residual mess and uh, my trusty old chop dust pan there and uh, laid the metal sides down and the bracketry and just took a wire wheel and uh, just cut the rust off of everything I possibly could. And uh, well, much to my surprise, I cleaned up pretty good. Everything was in pretty good shape. One bracket was bent. I was able to get it bent back into shape there. And uh, again, once I got everything all cut off, it uh, got all the rust cut off. Everything uh, looked pretty good and, you know, was ready for some primer. Now the metal end pieces for the uh, bench itself were... A little bit of a different story. Uh, you know, they just had a coat of rust on them. And the only thing I could possibly do was just take my wire wheel and, and get what I could and and cut everything off and do the best I can and, uh, you know, get everything off with the wire wheel. I tried several different methods, but this uh, this seemed to work the best. And, you know, Home Depot, or not Home Depot, but Rust-Oleum, uh, where I got, Home Depot was where I purchased this product. They've got a they've got a product called Rust Reformer, and it's like it comes in a spray paint form, and it's designed to paint over uh, rusted metal if you uh, if you can't get the rust off it. Uh, it provides a pr protective paintable surface, uh, as well as a primer built into this product. Now I've never used it before, but uh, um, I thought I'd give it a try, and uh, you know it. Uh, it Looks like it worked really good and, and coated and covered really good. I, I'm getting a couple of coats of, of this stuff on there. I burned up a couple of cans and and once I did that, you know, let it dry and then I uh, just put a couple of coats of some uh, semi gloss uh, black spray paint on there and uh, you know that uh, that made uh, made it look really good. And once that was all done, it was time to cut out the uh, the wood for this project. And I happened to uh, have some leftover oak uh, that I had from a project and so I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to use this stuff and you know they're about you know three quarters of an inch thick you know, about eight inches wide and about 10 feet long and it was just enough to to cut out what I needed to cut out for this thing and so I just laid these things out and you know marked them out as I needed to took them over to my uh my miter saw and cut them to the proper length and uh once I did that uh, it was time to uh get them over to the table saw where I uh, ripped them into uh, the necessary width. Now, I made this makeshift extension table because I just got a little DeWalt ta portable table saw. So I know these boards are going to be about four feet long. And, and uh, it's, so I made this makeshift uh, table, as you can see right there at the, at the end of my table saw. And this worked out really good. I was able to just uh, shove those boards right through there and, uh, and cut these things with ease. That was pretty good. And once I got everything cut, all the pieces that I needed to get cut, um, I just uh, got my my palm sander, my, not my palm sander, but my uh, little palm router there with a quarter rounding over bit. 
and just went through everything and, and routed both sides and ends to make them nice and smooth. And I did that to all the pieces. And the whole thing works pretty cool. There they are all cut and uh, ready to start staining. This is a, a jig that I had made for drilling the holes. And I know I had a lot of holes to drill and a lot of boards. I want them in the exact same spot. And so I made this jig and that jig worked out perfectly and got the holes drilled exactly where they are. So this is just a uh, um, Verathane uh, Golden Oak stain that I had. Um, I just had about a you know, quart of this stuff up there and I thought this would be a great opportunity to use this and uh, it's perfect for the oak. And uh, once I got that done, it was, it was time to start assembling. Went over to my little mini hardware store here and uh, was able to find some screws and uh, some bolts and nuts that, uh, that would be perfect to put this thing together. And I started the assembly right here now. You know, because those holes were drilled and, uh, you know, the boards were cut the exact same length and the holes were drilled with that jig I made in the exact same spot, I made for assembly fairly simple. I mean, it was just like put everything in and everything fell right into place where it's supposed to and everything bolted right up. And, uh, you know, once I got everything all bolted in and, and tightened up, you know, it's uh, starting to come together and start to look pretty good. There it is before I put the center bracing piece on and that was the last thing I needed to do right here and uh, pretty proud about the way that thing turned out. It looked pretty good right there. So there it is. I'm just flipping the thing over and uh, putting the last of the uh, braces on right here and, and this worked really good. You know, I just pre-drilled everything and just put these screws right in and when I did that, it just sucked that wood right up to the shape of the uh, bracket right there and uh, everything worked out really good. I'm really pleased the way this turned out. Um, it's just like a brand new bench. You know, it's going to be good. Well, there you go. Some people's trash is other people's treasures. I pulled this for someone's trash pile. It was rusted, beat up, and broken. I refurbished it, rebuilt it, whatever you want to call it, and it's almost like brand new. Perfect for the backyard around the pool. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe for more videos. See you next time on Jimbo's Garage.